The sea lion problem has taken a disturbing turn. They're showing up dead now on a wildlife refuge near Imperial Beach. Attendees viewer contacted us concerned about the number of deaths. New at 5, 10 News reporter Hannah Mullins talked to a woman who has taken matters into her own hands. There are at least five sea lions that have been left out here to rot within a football field of me. It is difficult for any animal lover to see, but Connie Martinkus here just couldn't bear the sight any longer. This is the third makeshift grave she's made, and it's wearing on her. It hurts to come out here every day and see them. Four days ago, she was walking with her dog, Barley, when she saw this adult sea lion. She says she contacted the city of Imperial Beach, SeaWorld, and lifeguards, but it just decomposed as more showed up. This is disease spreading. You don't know what's in these, and people are laying around these animals. I see it daily. You can see a skull surrounded by flies and smell the rotting skin, but it's more than a health hazard for Martinkus. Don't they deserve to be buried and, and not laying here decaying, looking horrible? She grew up by this beach, but says it's the worst she's ever seen. On Thursday, SeaWorld's Marine Mammal Rescues hit a record at 475 for the year, just three months in. Almost all were severely malnourished sea lions, which tells them something is wrong with their food source. The lifeguards have been fabulous about calling SeaWorld and getting the live pups rescued. All the dead ones have been over here where the lifeguards don't have jurisdiction. But lifeguards say dead mammals on a state park or wildlife refuge like this are left to decay naturally. I want these poor animals to quit dying. In the meantime, Martinkus will continue building those graves. In Imperial Beach, Hannah Mullins, 10 News. A very popular spot for tourists and locals could soon be looking different. Some of the sea lions that sunbathe on San Diego's cliffs and coastline are starving. San Diego 6's Jenny Day joins us live from La Jolla to explain what's going on there. Jenny. Hey guys, San Diego sea lions are so hungry, they're literally gnawing on rock. Many are found near death, washed up on our beaches with a belly full of sand and rock because there's literally nothing else for them to eat. When the fish hold up and the legs catch fire, will it be worth it then? And when the cancer rates 90% or high, will it be worth it then? When the whole world's at war over water and oil, There's no more spoils, will it be worth it then? If not, if not, what will it take to make you change your mind? What kind of sign would convince you that people are worth more than Yeah. 